What is up, Flav City family? It's Bobby coming at you from Whole Foods because this video is all about salt. I mean, look at this wall of salt right here. There's so many options, products. Where do you even begin? I mean, so that's why we're making this video to show you what kind of salts to use here and what kind to avoid. And there's a lot of options, but basically it comes down to three salts. You basically want to avoid iodized salt. You want to use kosher salt for cooking and you want to use sea salt for finishing. That's basically the gist of this video. But even within that category, there's a lot of options here. But I'm going to start with the most common salt out there. It's iodized salt or regular table salt like this is really, really bad because it's heavily refined and heavily processed. If I were to crack this open right now and pour it, it would stream out really, really nicely and it'd be white as can be. That's because this salt is heavily processed, heavily refined, and all of those essential minerals that are in here that are good for your body are stripped away that add anti-caking agents that can sometimes include aluminum, which build up in your brain and can cause uh, cancer. And they make it so it pours out really easily. Because of that, it's super cheap, and I would recommend staying away from this. It's also very salty because you get rid of all those minerals. When you ingest it, uh, your body can't kind of process it properly because it doesn't have those minerals to kind of blend with. So I would stay away from this stuff because of the fact that it's so darn heavily processed. Instead, I would cook with kosher salt. Now, there's two kinds of kosher salts you want to cook with. Morton's or Diamond Crystal. I feel like if you're an East Coast chef, you love Diamond Crystal. If you're from the Midwest, you love Morton's. But the kosher salt doesn't refer to the fact that a rabbi has blessed the salt. It hasn't. It refers to the fact that they use it for the koshering process to pull the blood out of animals to certify it to be kosher then. And what makes it really unique is if you look, if I were to crack open this box again, the signature kosher salt crystals have this great texture to them that make it really easy to pick up and pinch over food. If I tried to do that with sea salt or iodized table salt, it's like sand. It would fall through my fingers and you have a tendency to over season food. The only thing I don't like about this kosher salt, whether it's Morton's or Diamond Crystal, is that it's bleached. So it's pure white. So it's about 98% pure. They get rid of all the impurities. Um, instead, there's a brand that actually a few of you guys over on Instagram turned me on to called Real Salt. And this stuff is the real deal and is getting crazy popular recently because it's a pure, unrefined, ancient sea salt from uh, Utah. It's like an ancient seabed that dried up. And this company is mining this salt that has like over 50 minerals in it that are found in your body. So your body loves absorbing the minerals in here. It tastes phenomenal. And I only knew actually about the fine sea salt. So I've been using that for finishing but I haven't been using that for cooking because it's very hard to pinch over. I just found on Amazon this morning, they make a kosher version of that. Um, so it's a bigger crystal that I can really get my fingers around and pinch it. Now, the only difference is, check this out, Art. This one is on sale right now for $6.69, normally $7.49 for one pound. The Morton's kosher salts um, is $3.99 here, but if you get it at Walmart, it's actually $1.48. So this is much more expensive but I wanna let you know that I'm gonna switch over pretty soon to only using this for cooking. If you can afford it, I would do it too, given the fact that it's unrefined. I just don't love the fact that this is bleached. Um, that really kind of bothers me. But if you can't afford it, this is still a way better option than iodized table salt or the iodized sea salt. This is the real sea salt down here. Sea salt from England, sea salt from Ireland. Uh, this is not sea salt, but this is Himalayan pink salt. These are all finishing salts. I wouldn't cook with these because they're expensive, but they're more of a finishing salt because they add texture and a pop of flavor. And this is my favorite one. Art, you agree? This is from England. They're known for their signature diamond shape uh, salt crystals, and it's crunchy. So imagine cooking a steak, slicing it open, and pinching this over the top. It adds texture and that salty mineral flavor that I love. But even this, this is Celtic sea salt. So they make sea salt like this by letting water dry out in sea ponds or tidal ponds, and they let the salt float to the surface and rake it. So it's very labor intensive, which is why it's a finishing salt, not a cooking salt. Now, I would also say that before I move on to the pink salt, a lot of people see me in my cooking videos and they see me pinch over healthy amounts of kosher salt. And they're like, whoa, Bobby, that's a lot of salt. I wanna let you know that only 11% of your salt intake comes from food you actually season and cook with. 
over 70% comes from this place. All of these processed ingredients here are loaded with salt and not the good salt that I'm using. They're using the iodized low quality salt and they're using way more than you can possibly use. That's why when you're cooking and using raw blend ingredients, season aggressively because you can't use more salt than they put in these prepackaged ingredients. I promise you that. But if you are watching your salt intake because you have high blood pressure, that's totally fine. You can cut down the amount of salt in a recipe and instead at the end, squeeze in a little bit of lemon juice and that kind of elevates the flavor without using too much salt. So that's a great trick. All right, getting back to another favorite salt. This is from Pakistan, the Himalayan mountain ranges and it's become very popular the last few years. It has like over 80 minerals that are found in the human body and it's the purest form of salt in the world. Once again, I would use it as a finishing salt and I love these kind of bottles here because they have the grinder built into it, but don't buy it here at Whole Foods. This container here at Whole Foods is $5, the same size at Trader Joe's is $1.99. It is crazy. Um, and then there's gourmet salts like smoked sea salt where they just take the salt and they smoke it for two to three weeks just like you'd smoke a piece of chicken or brisket and it picks up that really smoky flavor um so that's how it breaks down to you guys i would once again stay away from iodized salt or table salt the iodine in there is not bad for you it's just uh they put it in there a long time ago to help with iodine supplements or goiters or for pregnant women but in today's society you get plenty of iodine in your diet I would cook with kosher salt, or if you can afford it, this real salt that's kosher, this one. And I would finish with any kind of sea salt you want. Experiment with a different one. This is my favorite one here. But read the back of the labels for all these products here because every packaged product in the grocery store has salt in it. And the odds are they're using bad quality iodized salt. Actually, the good thing about here at Whole Foods is they don't use uh, too many ingredients that have bad salt. They usually have sea salt, like this one and that one. But you have to read it because you're getting so much crappy sodium from these prepackaged ingredients, you're better off cooking your own food. So that is it, you guys. I hope this helped clear up a little bit of questions you had. And next time you walk in to the grocery store and see this wall of salt here, you will know which ones to go to which ones to avoid and which ones to experiment because it's kind of like wine. When I have a glass of wine of Pinot Noir from uh, Sonoma Valley, it tastes different than from France. Why? Well, the terroir, the ground is different, the wind is different, the sea is different. Every salt tastes different based upon the minerals in the water. It sounds crazy, I know, but it really is. All right, that is it. We are done and we did not get kicked out. Amen to that, right, Art? That's right, man. Uh, if you guys have any other suggestions for types of videos to make, let us know. You want us to hit the freezer aisle, the produce aisle, anything. Um, share this video. Sharing is caring. Subscribe to our channel and we will see you very soon. Until then, hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace.